Good afternoon. The regional news brought to you by Fela Kezia Fonja. In the headlines, school authorities are making strides to completely stamp out violent practices in schools to ensure pupils and students' safety in school campuses. Education stakeholders in the southwest region are satisfied with the turnout of students in localities where schools were forced to shut down in the heat of the crisis. Those were the headlines and now the news in full. The debate about ensuring safety and security in schools has intensified recently following the killings of both teachers and students at school premises in the central region. In Yaoundé, some private schools have made major changes to secure their campuses. Colette Jani of CRTV Centre tells us more. Suffering up security in some private schools in the peripheries of the nation's capital is costly and is also taking a lot of coordination between the school administrators and teachers. Judy King, coordinator of Alesh Beso du Savoy Lundem 1. Start on the gate, check on the students who come inside the school campus. When they are in class, we go around to still search their bags to make sure that they don't carry harmful objects into the classrooms. To male teachers who search the male students the female teachers search the female students in order to ensure the safety of both teachers and learners some private schools work with parents as well as state security to register a student we have the contact of the parent when they find you any object um we convoke your parent and there's some incidents that we even invite the police station the school campus is not um, a war front so it's criminal so we take you to the police station but there are some that we handle them at administrative level. Concern for school security started about a year ago with recurrent attacks of teachers and students on school premises in the central region. Other incidents have been occurring. Students are either injuring their friends or threatening the lives of teachers. It is quite important to make sure that these events don't occur again in our educational milieu. In our school campus, it's supposed to be a safer place for the students and the teachers as a whole so that the students can acquire what what they, they came to do in school freely. So it's quite important that the research is always carried out for the students. School safety policies in private schools play a vital role in ensuring the welfare of students, teachers and administrators alike. College journey for the Regional News Centre. We take you to the West region where secondary school authorities are stepping up measures aimed at preventing the use of dangerous weapons in school premises. Students' bags are being searched upon arrival at school to ensure that they do not contain harmful objects that can be used to hurt other students while on campus. Our reporter, Chair Tembok, has been to some schools to find out what is going on and compiled this report for the regional news. The Voltaire Bilingual Comprehensive College in Bafusam means business, keeping every instrument that is not necessary for a school student to study calmly and peacefully out of the school campus. The school authorities have gone to the extent to procure metal detectors in addition to other forms of control so that no weapon whatsoever is sneaked into the campus for that matter and use eventually to hurt those whose intention on school is to study. The principal of the college, Christopher Fotso, says the institution has taken the decision to go to any length to keep the campus free from delinquents. Any student who enters the school is a search throughout. We have these metal detectors which are there to help us. We have mandated some students. So if at all they happen to see somebody with a harsh object, let him come and tell us. A similar strategy has been put in place at the Tama Balingol Private College Complex. Rene Gerald Chombeng had this to say about the preemptive measures taken to step aggressive acts in his institution. Harmful objects like blades, like needles, like knives, and all what can injure students who've taken special dispositions. We have what we call a, a security club. The mission of that security club is to be able to get information concerning those type of things and report that information to the discipline office so that they can take proper action. Time and again, the discipline department sometimes accompanied by my, my humble self. We go from class to class and we do spot checks. Just go there, storm into a class, and then we say all of you get up and then we search their bags and make sure that those type of things are not there. The measures are parts 
educationists are unanimous that real discipline starts with the home the reasons why parents are systematically involved in the steps school authorities take to inculcate discipline che tsembuk for the regional news in bafusam Primary and nursery school pupils sometimes indulge themselves in harmful games while at school. School authorities in Ebolova are checking these violent practices and advise that children be sensitized on the dangers of playing such games. Details with Lenis Njeli. <laughs> Rough and harmful games are recurrent amongst children in schools during break time. This has been a major preoccupation of teachers in primary and nursery schools in Ebolova. Modekai Obase is a primary school teacher. The first thing we do in our institution is that we educate the children. We sensitize them, we give them uh, understanding knowledge about the kind of games they can play and the dangers of uh, some kind of games. They can prevent or they can avoid playing dangerous games. According to Fergay Von or head teacher of the Petimon Primary School in the town, children often play running, fighting, and gymnastic games, which are more or less harmful to them. As a result, school authorities have taken necessary measures to prevent such happenings. During periods when we are sure that they will have to be playing, teachers are spotted in every direction, in every block, and in their playground to be sure that we observe the kind of games they are playing in the first place. And then where they are playing dangerous games, we can always intervene and educate them again that this kind of games are dangerous and are not uh, allowed on campus, neither even at home. We would have to show them that this particular area is not good for them to go out there and play especially where we have uncompleted buildings, where we can have nails, pins and all those kind of things. However, school staff are relentlessly working towards preventing such violent practices amongst children in schools. Lenis Jelly, Regional News, Abolova. And over in the Northwest, nursery and primary school instructors within Bamender have noted that the COVID-19 preventive measures have further kept them on the alert to ensure that the kids do not get involved in games or recreative activities that can cause harm. The restriction of group games, proper orientation on violence and the use of harmful objects are some of the ways through which the pupils are monitored. Mercy Kusi reports. Playgrounds in most nursery and primary schools in Bamenda are positioned within eye contact of the head teacher's office, which many of them say enables them to constantly control objects the pupils come in contact with and how they relate with their peers. I'm Mrs. Yenika Rosemary, headmistress of Government Nursery School Bamenda Station. When we receive children in school, the first thing is that we teach them about dangerous objects. We take them around and show them chairs broken chairs, sticks, and sharp objects. We tell them to be very careful with them, that if they wound them, they will lose a lot of blood and maybe will lead to admission in the hospital. According to some teachers, the two-shift system of learning and frequent hand washing, which have been made compulsory by COVID-19, is an additional safety measure vis-a-vis -vis how the very young learners relate with each other. Before they enter the gate, they must have washed their hands. So since we have been told not to teach more than 50 students per class, we make sure that we respect that modality. Some of the classes we are trying to do it, they will come in the morning, some come in the afternoon. So that is how we have tried to manage it. While in the classroom, the instructors assure their curricula is structured to include moral education, which the finds what is forbidding for them to do or touch when playing with their friends. We equally teach them that they don't need to throw sticks on somebody, stones on, on anybody. Both in the classroom, outside, we check their nails, we check their bags, whether they're having dangerous objects. While in class, we watch them play and we tell them that when you are even writing, you don't need to use your pencil to pierce somebody. In addition to all of those safety guidelines, the school instructors assure they do have in female that offer care and treatments to injured pupils in case of an accident or unforeseen violence. Mercy Kusi for the regional news in Bamenda. Surveillance camera systems, amongst other security measures, are more often used in schools in the South region. This is in a bid to maintain security and to prevent strangers from gaining access into the school campus. Students are also searched before getting into this institution. Details with Derek Alegni. 
In the past years, delinquent behaviors like the non-respect of teachers and fighting amongst students has been taking alarming proportions in schools in Ebolova. In a bid to combat this phenomenon, the Lycée Classique et Moderne de Bolova has installed security cameras at the main school entrance and other parts of the campus. René Osombe is the principal of that institution. This year, adding to what has been done, we'll use surveillance cameras to check the movements of persons entering and leaving the campus such that we can easily and quickly intervene if we notice any undesired behavior. A similar situation is lived at the government bilingual high school Abolova, where a search system is being implemented Bonneke Fidelis is the vice principal. Systematically, by surprising, we don't even make them know when we can do that. So we can go enter the class and then we check their backs so as to make sure that a child does not think he can come with such things and go through. A committee composed of students who will serve as the eyes and ears of school authorities has equally been put in place. With all these measures taken, school authorities are bent on ensuring that discipline reigns in the school milieu. Derich Algunri, CRTV Bolova, for the regional news. School authorities in the north region alongside parents have stepped up measures to keep their children safe during and after school hours. In most Nigerian primary schools, authorities make sure that at the end of the day, only parents or guardians whose names are in the registers pick up their children from school. Our north regional correspondent, Wilson Mengole, talked to some parents and school authorities and put together the following report for the regional news. The security of children is a preoccupation in most educational institutions in the North region. They have diverse different strategies in collaboration with parents to make sure that children are safe on campus and do not miss their way home after school. Zile Dennis is the principal of a private school in Garua. Entrance is blocked, which implies that we have our two security men who are always there to check. And these security men know those children who pick a bike and they know those children who go on foot and they know those those children who are supposed to wait for their parents. So you hardly hear that a child in, it's very difficult. You cannot even pick up a child. Beginning of the year, parents indicate if you want somebody to come and pick up their child, most of the time they refuse. Some have invested in the building of fences to secure the pupils. Reverend Bad Joffrey is the chaplain of a mission school in Garoa. As the children come in, we have the teachers who are assigned to stand at the gate and supervise the children who are coming, supervise the those who are bringing in the children so that they know exactly who is coming with the child and is that very person to take out the child. In addition to the teacher, in, there's also the security officer who is at the gate, who's always in charge of children coming in and going out. And especially when they close, he is there to check those who are coming to take the children. Parents on their part have equally adopted measures to keep their children safe. As a parent, I've been taking a certain number of measures to drop my child and pick him at school from school i always use my car to drop him every morning and at uh, 2 30 after school i go and pick him my wife from time to time can go and pick him when i'm very busy at work the goal of education officials in the north region and parents is to keep their children out of harm's way we see mengole for the regional news in garo Four days into the 2020-2021 school year, it has been a daily tax for teachers in nursery schools to help kindergartens adapt to the school milieu. Our reporter Cynthia Ethim visited some Nigerian primary schools in the economic capital and says some children are gradually adjusting to their new school environment. The tradition never gets old in nursery schools. It is three days since classes resumed and some kindergartens still find it difficult to separate from their parents. They are yet to adapt to their school milieu. <laughs> to help the kids adjust to their new environment, teachers, amongst other things, recite some poems and dance with the children. I'm trying to make them feel comfortable as if they were at home. We make them play, make them sing. There's a lot 
lot of activities by getting to know the youth fund. Given that the little ones began their educational career amidst the global health crisis, sanitary measures to bar the way to the COVID-19 pandemic are scrupulously observed in institutions. Before each children enter the classroom, we have a little instrument to sterilize their backs and their clothes. We take the temperature. In class, they wash their hands because they have a dispenser. And we sterilize everything that they use, the toys, so that they stay safe. As the days go by, the teachers are certain that with the skills they have, the children will gradually get used to their school environment. Cynthia Etim, Seattle TV News, Douala. Education stakeholders in the southwest region have expressed satisfaction following the increase in the number of children going back to school. School officials in localities where schools were forced to shut down in the heat of the crisis say the turnout is impressive this far, as we hear in the following report by Fame Bunui Aise from CRTV Southwest in Boya. A beam of hope surrounds education stakeholders in the Southwest region at the start of the 2020-2021 academic year following an impressive turnout of pupils and students in schools located in places which were hard hit by the crisis. Places like Mile 16 and Muya in Boya, considered danger zones, have recently recorded a growing number of school children, as Mr. G. Melvis, a teacher in that locality, affirms. They are so enthusiastic to see that their kids go to school. So we want to believe that the 2020-2021 school year will eventually have an increase of the center, given that some of the parents, they are beginning to open their eyes, and I don't think they are quite ready to keep their own children back at home while others are picking up knowledge. Reports from educational institutions in Kumba and Manfe are equally positive since the start of the new school year. Winifred Bessemayuka, principal of the Government Technical High School, Manfe. The back to school in GTHS Manfe for 2020-2021 was very impressive. Before the reopening date, all the classrooms were disinfected. The surroundings of the school was kept clean by the quarter members where the school is situated, that is Lala Quarter Manfi. The turnout was very encouraging as parents have realized the importance of education for their children's future. With many more school children regaining their classrooms all over the region, the 2020-2021 academic year promises to be a more successful school year for the Southwest region. Fame Bunui Ayise for the regional news in Boya. That report ends today's regional newscast, but before we take leave of you, a reminder of our headlines. School authorities are making strides to completely stamp out violent practices in schools to ensure pupils and students' safety in the school campuses. Education stakeholders in the southwest region.